From the depths of the ocean, a predator once ruled the seas. An ancient beast so massive, so terrifying, that even today it haunts the human imagination. But is it really extinct? Or could this behemoth still be lurking at the bottom of the ocean? Keep in mind, guys, we know more about the surface of the moon than we do the bottom of our oceans. Let's get into today's video. Before we dive into the modern day sightings and stories, let's first understand this creature we're talking about. The Megalodon, whose name literally means Big Tooth, was the largest shark that ever lived. Estimates suggest that they reached lengths of up to 60 feet, dwarfing the modern day great white shark. Some scientists believe that they could have weighed over 100,000 pounds. To put it simply, this was the absolute apex predator, ruling the oceans roughly 3.5 million years ago. Uh, that's so long your mom remembers. With jaws powerful enough to crush whale bones and teeth the size of human hands, Megalodon fed on large prey like whales and other marine mammals. Their extinction is generally attributed to the cooling of the planet and changes in ocean currents, but Despite all evidence pointing to its demise, stories of the Megalodon have persisted. Let's take a look at some info real quick. The ocean is vast, covering more than 70% of our planet, of which 80% of that is unexplored. Given this, some people wonder, could a creature as elusive as the Megalodon still exist, hiding in the deepest, most remote parts of the ocean? There are a few theories that suggest the Megalodon could have survived. The most popular one is that these massive sharks have adapted to the depths of the ocean, living in deep trenches where we rarely venture. Proponents of the Megalodon argue that we've discovered giant squids and other deep sea creatures which we at one point thought were myth. So why not the Megalodon? Now I'm no scientist, but it seems like we should be more open to the idea of something existing because we have no proof it doesn't, rather than because we don't have proof it exists, we just say it doesn't. We at one point couldn't explain the wind or lightning, you know, we know what causes those, so I don't know. It just, science seems really close-minded now, and I think that's why so many people talk about stuff like this, because one, it's interesting uh, and scary as shit, but what if it is? Prove that it doesn't exist, and then we can talk. But is there any evidence that this mother actually exists? That's where things get interesting. Over the years, there have been various reports of mysterious sightings that some claim could be the Megalodon. Now, before you roll your eyes, let's take a look at some of these accounts. This first story comes from off the coast of South Africa. In 1918, a group of fishermen reported seeing a shark of monstrous proportions. They claimed it was over 100 feet long, far larger than any known shark species. These fishermen were seasoned veterans of the sea, and what they described was no ordinary fish. According to their account, the creature destroyed several fishing nets with incredible force. They were terrified. Could this have been a run-in with the Megalodon? But that's not all. Fast forward to up to recently, 2013, we have another chilling account, this time from the Marianas Trench. An ocean research vessel captured footage of a massive shadow moving through the deep, easily dwarfing the surrounding marine life. Some researchers claimed it was a whale, but others were quick to point out that the behavior and speed seemed unnatural. Unfortunately, the footage remains inconclusive. While these stories don't exactly provide hard proof, do they make you wonder what else could be out there? I don't know. Personally, the ocean is scary as shit. It's deep. It's dark. It's insanely deep, guys. Like, it is insanely deep. And that's just, that's not even the record depths. It's just deep in general. The fact that you can bury mountains under the ocean, that's insane to me. And we're just going to say, nah, there's nothing weird down there. We don't know. We literally don't know. We've only discovered 20% of the ocean. We don't know what's out there. Now, of course, not everyone is convinced by these stories. Most scientists maintain that the Megalodon is indeed extinct. After all, sharks continuously shed teeth, and if a population of Megalodon did still exist, we'd expect to find more recent teeth. So far, we haven't. Furthermore, the ocean's food chain would struggle to support such a massive predator. Today's ocean ecosystems don't have a large enough prey to maintain multiple 60-foot sharks. Great whites, orcas, and other large predators would compete for the same resources, making the survival of the megalodon-like creature highly improbable. So, while the stories are thrilling, most experts are confident that the megalodon is a relic of the past, but that doesn't mean we should stop exploring. See, that's what I'm saying. How do we 
how do we prove something doesn't exist if we don't keep looking? The Megalodon might be a ghost of prehistory, a monster that haunts our imaginations rather than our oceans, but the mystery remains. Could something of its magnitude still exist out there in the deep blue unknown? I do find it fascinating though how little we know about the oceans, just in general. Even if it's just new coral that we find, or new a new eel, or whatever, right? New creepy glow-in-the-dark fish with weird teeth. Like there's there's so much we don't know, and I think it's such a damn shame that we don't prioritize discovery like we used to. Um, the moon. I, I think it's a shame that we don't. We don't try to discover more about the moon, our oceans. That's a damn shame, though. We need we need to know more about our own planet. Um, imagine what is out there. That's I mean, because that's all we can do is imagine because we don't <laughs> we don't know and we're not looking. Some people are looking and praise you guys. You're, you're doing the you're doing the real work out there, and I appreciate it. Hopefully the Megalodon's out there, but hopefully we find it in a cool way, like just swimming, just chilling not attacking stuff. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything else you want me to look into, because I'm down to look at everything, guys. Seriously, I have a an open mind, and I think even if you don't think it's that significant, it usually ties into something else that is. So see you guys later.